Well, I think I'll see if I can get this generator off this Volkswagen. I took it over to John, and he said that uh, this generator I got here ain't charging. Uh, it did charge enough to light the light, and I thought it was working based on my, you know, Volkswagen manual for the complete idiot, but John said it wasn't charging enough to charge the battery, so I'm going to be yanking it off. I made the mistake of buying one off eBay, and I bought one that doesn't have a pulley on one end, so that's kind of stupid on my part. Dang. So I just sent an email to the guy and asked him if he'd swap it back. Other than that, they're almost identical, and I'm dang tempted to pull that one apart and pull this one apart and take the guts out of this one and put in that one, clean up that main shaft, put it all back together. And I haven't ruled out doing that. I think I'll wait and see what he says about doing a swap. I was thinking he's probably a generator rebuilder, and he may swap me this one for one with a pulley. See, this one has a pulley on this end and a fan. Uh, uh, hook to the other and this one has a shaft where the fan would hook but it doesn't have a shaft where the pulley would hook so anyway that's what I've come to first thing I need to do is disconnect the battery take off the carburetor voltage regulator uh, I'm gonna have to lift the fan shroud up to get the bolts out of this and get it out I may have to take the trunk lid off again I did last time I don't know if I have to do that, but I know I did take it off last time. And if I do, it'll give me a good chance to repaint that hood and all up under there where I reworked that spring latch before. So, doesn't do much good to talk about it. I might as well get busy and get going. I do have another generator on an old motor back here that Dad I gave me. And I don't know much about this one except it was supposed to be running before it wound up sitting out in the weather for about a year. Of course, that one's been out in the weather and it's been raining in it, but... You know what I might do? I measured it and it's the same diameter. And if I pull that other one off and it comes off pretty easy, I may just yank this one off too and stick it on there and try it. I mean, not much to lose. If it works, it works, right? So, anyway, I'll get started here.